If you've watched the latest episode of Dr. Stone, episode 12, you know that sulfuric acid is some hot stuff. But enough about unnecessary boners, because class is officially in session as we discuss the various applications of this unique mineral acid that Senku is utilizing to make a sulfa antibiotic for Kohok's sister. Sulfuric acid is also known as vitriol. And no, it's not cruel and bitter criticism that haters use to inflict emotional pain on their adversaries. It is, however, a chemical that is used to inflict physical pain that leaves lifelong scars, but that's a big difference. Sulfuric acid in the modern world is a crucial chemical that serves as an indicator for a nation's industrial strength. In fact, in 2004, 180 million tons of sulfuric acid was produced around the world, with roughly 60% being consumed for fertilizers. Another 20% is used for the production of detergents, synthetic resins, i.e. adhesives, pharmaceuticals, insecticides, and antifreeze. For the purposes of our discussion, however, let's focus on the pharmaceutical application, as this is what Senku wants to use it for at the moment. But before we delve into the sulfa antibiotic, it's important that we acknowledge the dangers of sulfuric acid and its precursor, hydrogen sulfide, the chemical that nearly wasted Ginro. <laughs> Hydrogen sulfide is, for all intents and purposes, a poison. In fact, the toxicity is comparable to that of carbon monoxide poisoning. But then, as soon as he backs out of his driveway... As it binds with iron at the mitochondrial level and prevents cellular respiration. In addition, hydrogen sulfide is corrosive to various metals. One metal, in particular, silver, tarnishes relatively easily and turns black in the presence of hydrogen sulfide. Hence, Waisenku used it as a quote-unquote barometer to protect them from the deadly aspects of hydrogen sulfide. In the presence of atmospheric oxygen and heat-tolerant microbes, the hydrogen sulfide can convert into sulfuric acid, which Senku desires for his sulfa antibiotic or, possibly, to make an illicit substance to help him fight Shishio. Or, you know, just trip balls because he's living in a world devoid of technology. Eh, whatever. One more subject I would like to address is the use of activated charcoal in the gas mask that Senku used to protect himself in chrome. Activated charcoal, or activated carbon, is ripped with various sticky holes, similar to chicken wire, causing toxins to become bonded to these holes, thus preventing the toxins from moving into the gas mask and preventing the user from becoming poisoned. If you've watched any of my Dr. Stone episode reviews in the past, you'll know that I'm not a huge fan of the series. However, I do have to tip my hat to the show's staff for their respect slash dedication to real-world applications of science. While I still believe that Senku's knowledge database is a bit exaggerated, it is interesting to see how science could improve a quote-unquote stoned world. Go, 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 go. Good via real-world applications, one invention at a time. But before you click off of this video, let me know if you'd like me to continue investigating the various scientific concepts employed in Dr. Stone. I think there's enough interesting concepts slash ideas that I could make a weekly series from the new episodes. In either case, I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. I appreciate if you give the video a like, and I'll catch you on the flip side.